Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel, as always. And uh, yeah, gonna go over uh, issue with uh, no spark on my sled. Um, we're just gonna go through this because um, it happened to me, of course. And uh, these are just a few areas that I looked before uh, finding the problem. I had spare parts kicking around. So there you go, that's how you check your spark. Uh, you're gonna basically get somebody to pull it over. I'm trying to do it one-handed so it's a little bit difficult plus trying to hold the camera in position is is hard. You can see there's spark though on both plugs so so let's say you don't have spark there. Um, the next step would be to look at your spark plug boots. Um, you might have uh, you might have uh, a bad boot. It might be just as simple as that. So I'll just I'll I have a screenshot here of something. So let me find that. Okay, so here it is. Uh, just took a picture at a local store shop, um, and uh, you can see the prices. They're anywhere from the higher end ones are thirteen bucks down to six seven bucks. I mean, you could probably find them cheaper somewhere else too, but. Uh, that's basically what you got to check. Um, so let's go to that part. We'll go back to the video. Um, so I had no spark on this cylinder. Put in brand new spark plugs. Thought that was my problem. Change those out. No, no go. No spark on this side. So then. I thought that um, maybe it was the boot in the boot or even in the wire. So that was the next thing was I got one that's already out. So these boots, what they do is you can just unscrew them and they just pop out. I don't know if you can look inside there but there's like a screw attachment and basically that screws into the wire there which I'm sure you guys can see so we're gonna some of these screw off some of them are sealed units they don't they don't come apart this is your next area to check it's the cheapest one of the cheaper pieces anyways so in this case um, this guy I don't know if you can see it we might as well go th we might as well go through the list here um, so number three would be check your wires uh, here's a screenshot here I got of the wire easy to pick up and it's it's easy to check you change it out and uh, see if you got spark Number four would be the coil pack. Um, it, you know, to buy a new coil pack, that's what you're looking at, about 40 to 100 bucks, depending if you get it used or brand new, but you're better off to go new with electrical equipment. Uh, next screenshot here, number five is your voltage regulator. These are fairly cheap too, and they're very easy to change out usually. Uh, it's one plug and one, you know, one bolt holding it in. Uh, your voltage regulator basically what it does is it controls um, how much the stator will push out and uh, yeah that's in my case my whole situation let's go back to that video and uh, I'm trying to show you guys where the coil is on these things it seems like uh, coil packs are always in the hardest place ever to get at so I had a spare coil pack uh, laying around so for me it was quite easy I hooked up my spare coil pack I checked boom I had spark both sides both plugs uh, lit up no problem with the old um, coil pack unfortunately the one side had burned itself out so there was lots of spark on one side but no spark on the other side so that was my uh, my fix so number six uh the stator um that's gonna be the most pain in the butt or it's gonna be the biggest problem for you um i do have videos of uh the stator um as far as taking a part in detail on these crossfires uh if it, it does come down to that but um that'll be a three 
$400 fix and that's probably a used price uh, on a stator brand new one I think is around six seven hundred bucks I'm not sure um, but in reality uh, that's that's your final piece really in your electrical um, system on a snowmobile uh, but this really you could take that to any degree as far as dirt bikes or quads or anything two-stroke motorized kind of um, that's that's where you would have to look so uh, those are the steps I'm gonna leave the steps here at the end uh, one to six and uh, that's pretty much the end of the video guys uh, as always thanks for watching uh, I do this as a hobby so it's uh, it's fun for me and I hope it uh, helps out somebody there or at least gets you pointed in the right direction and gets you some gets you thinking get some ideas out there as to wh what you need to do to uh, whatever you're riding out there and uh, uh, if it's no spark it's not gonna run so all right guys good luck and uh, till next time